Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. COVID-19 has sent the real estate market into a tailspin. Potential buyers don't want to or can't see homes for sale. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas has learned the struggling market has even resulted in some furloughs. Yeah, so this is one of the properties here in the West Loop. Virtual tours have been around for years, but Jesse Nocon and his team at Move Real Estate had never used them. A lot of people spending a lot of money on their properties, on their home, uh, don't want to buy a property via virtual tour. Now it's one of their only options to show off their listings. Currently, we're forbidden to do any open houses. Realtors can still show a property, but just to a few people at a time. When they do that, they're providing sanitizer and leaving some of the doors open so no one has to touch the handles. Spring and summer are typically peak real estate seasons with people buying left and right. But right now, the bottom line is slow. If we're not selling and closing homes, um, there's no paycheck coming in, right? Tim Mullet is a broker with Dreamtown Realty who recently applied for a government loan to help keep him afloat. If, if you can afford the time to wait, um, maybe wait wait a few weeks, but uh, if you're in a position where you, you must sell or you need to buy or find a, a place to rent, um, we are here to help. The real estate brokerage Redfin recently furloughed about 40% of its agents. Nocon says his team works on commission, so no one at MOVE will be furloughed. That doesn't mean they're not hurting. We're anticipating, hopefully, if this ends uh, around summertime, that real estate season will go on past the summer and into the fall and winter. He expects prices to drop slightly, but nothing major. The big change will be getting back to face-to-face -to -face tours. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.